Well, now I've opened Stencil, let's go through some of those basic things that are going to help you make a game. So the first thing I want to do is make a new game. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to make a blank game. And I'm going to press Next. I'm going to call my game Test Game mainly because it is just a test and I've already got a game for the video, but I want to show you how to create a brand new game. For the width, I always put 800. For the height, I put 600. Now you can really put anything you want to. So for example, if it says, are you making a mobile game? Use these settings here. For me, I just want it to be kind of like an old style game. So I'm going for a, a smaller size. Also, that helps your game to work a bit faster. We're going to press Create. And you'll see that it will just open up in my game now. Let's go through some of these words over here because they can really get confusing. So what we have here are the actors. Now the actors in your game are the characters. They can be characters that you move, they can be baddies, but also all the other things in your game like coins, bullets, platforms that you're going to jump on, they could be clouds that are flying through the sky. Literally anything that you add to your game is going to be an actor. We have backgrounds. Now we can just take a picture from wherever and put it as a background. So backgrounds are simply pictures that you put into your games in the different levels or on the starting screen or wherever. We'll ignore fonts and we'll go to scenes. Now scenes is Stencil's way of saying levels. So for example, you start your game on a, let's say a starting screen. That would be a scene. When you click a button, you go to level one that's a scene. So every time the screen changes and shows you something different, that is a different scene in stencil. Sounds are kind of obvious. And tile sets are basically what we're going to use to build our platform game. So we'll go through that when the game is starting. So what we'll do first of all, and this is advice I will give to you. If you want to get into character design, and if you want to go on to online pixel editors and design your characters, go for it my tutorials will not talk about character design or animations. So what I'm going to do is basically download them all. So I'm going to click on this stencil forge button. Now you've got to make sure that you have an account. It's really easy when you start up, just ask somebody to help you. And you can make an account on stencil forge. What I'm going to do is click on the actor types. And I'm just going to go to the most downloads. And I'm going to grab one character. This is one that I use quite a lot because it's quite good. I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to download it like so. And it's that simple. So I've downloaded it now so I can use that in my own game. You can see that my character is made of this thing called waiting and then there's a whole bunch of animations. We're going to talk about that much later. Let's go back to stencil forge. And while we're there, we can grab anything else that we want. So for example, my game has a spinning coin, I'm going to download that. The other thing I'm going to need in my game are tiles. So I'm going to go to the tile set. And of course, you can download whichever one you want to. So for example, if you want this grassland tile set, let's double click that. And what you'll see is all the tiles or all the blocks that are going to be in your game. And you simply press download. So it's worth at first, just downloading the things you do. So of course, you can come to Stencil Forge any other time to download stuff that you need. You don't have to do it all in one go, but it is worth grabbing the things that you need to start this game. I'm going to close Stencil Forge now and you can see I've got a monkey and a spinning coin and that's about all. So what I'm going to do now is switch to the game that I've been working on so that you can see what I've got there. So you can see in my game what I've got currently I've got a tile set, which is the Blobs Mixed Grass tile set. It's a great tile set. I have got one level, which I've called level one in my scenes. And for my actors, I've got a block and a block and a monkey. And using just those elements, we're going to build a very basic game. And then as this series goes on, we're going to make it more and more and more complicated until eventually it's going to look quite a lot like a, a real platform game. 